Hey, this is Paul, and today we're going to be looking at the Roland RE20 Space Echo, which is a recreation in a twin pedal format of the original RE201 Space Echo, which was a bigger unit, had a lot of tapes, you know, that you had to get all the echo sounds with, but you won't have any of that complication. You'll have it all here in a simple analog pedal, twin pedal format. And there's a lot to talk about this pedal. It's very cool. Certainly gets the Platinum Award. So let's take a closer look at it. The RE20 Roland Space Echo is simple analog delay pedal, which offers you up to six seconds of delay time, depending on the mode you set it. It starts with either a normal mode or you can reset it for a long mode. Normal mode gets you up to three seconds, long mode up to six seconds. As you can see, they recreated every bit of the original Space Echo, the same knobs, same type of uh, interface as you see on the original. And now here it is in a very small format and easy to use. On the top here, we have the controls for the reverb part of the pedal. And on the bottom, we have controls for the delay or the echo part of the pedal. The mode selector allows you to go through up to 12 different modes with pretty much echo, a combination of the reverb and the echo, and then over here, the final mode, just the reverb only. Now, the way the modes work is pretty much how the original machine worked. The machine had a bit of, I believe, three tape heads. So what you get is a combination in these modes of different combinations of the tape heads. So you can have up to three of the tape heads going at the same time, or just one or two at a time, or a combination of the outer tape heads. It gets a little complicated, but it's just easy once you just start moving the dial around and start working with sounds. Another thing is you have on the front here is the input volume. So you can pretty much drive the front end of this. But the best way to, to use the input volume over here is to just set it about 12 o'clock, and then you can see how hard you're driving it by the peak level LED over here. The twin pedal format, of course, allows you to turn the unit on and off. And over here on the second part, the second half of the pedal, it's really great because it allows you to tap tempo. So anytime you need to get in tune with, uh, get in time with the drummer, you just got to tap to the drummer and, you're, and you set your delay time from there. You can set it up to a quick slap back or very long. Another alternate function of, the, of this side of the pedal is if you hold it down, you can basically oscillate both the intensity and the repeat rate of wherever you set it. And you can get some really cool oscillating sounds. You can get the wow and the flutter of tape heads just going in sync. And I'll show you that a little bit later. So you can really get some great, as I always say, radio head type of sounds. On the back panel of the pedal, which is really cool, you have dual inputs, dual outputs. There's an expression pedal out, which allows you to use the expression pedal to control the same oscillating thing I talked about with the twin pedal. And then you can just use the one part as the tap tempo. On the back is also a direct on off switch. And there's also a nine volt adapter out over here. You can also power the pedal via batteries. But again, with all these type of delay pedals, they drain batteries pretty quickly. So I always recommend using an AC adapter when it comes to echo and delay pedals. The great thing about the Roland Space Echo pedal is that it can go from subtle to dramatic very quickly. Right now, I have the pedal set on a very ambient room setting. It's, it's actually almost too subtle. Uh, let's, let's let you hear uh, my clean guitar signal first. So basically, you just you hear nothing. Now I'm going to turn on the pedal. And I get a very subtle room sound with a combination of the echo and a combination of the reverb together. Hear what this sounds like. So you can hear that it has a really nice, almost springy room sound. And the fun begins when you start moving the volume on either side. So you'll hear what I mean. The reverb gets really funky as you turn up the reverb volume on this pedal. Almost begins to sound a little bit like a filter. Um, let's, let's move this up a bit so you hear a little more of the reverb on this. So here's what the sound like before. Now I'm going to move up the reverb level.
So it gets very deep. Now what I'm going to do is I'll move it up even more, and this is where it starts to sound a little bit like a touch wah as I hit individual notes. So I'm really diming this. Take a listen. <laughs> All right, let's bring it back from being in a deep, dark dungeon. I'm going to bring it back the reverb level over here to where it was before. Now watch what happens when I pull up the echo volume. Here, here's what it was before. Now pulling up the echo volume, I'm going to start to get a little bit of a slapback type of sound. So that was basically the slapback effect. Now, of course, if I move up the echo volume even more, you start to get even more of a sproingier sound. Let's hear what that sounds like. All right, now I've moved over to just an echo mode. Let's have some fun here. I'm gonna, I moved up the echo volume a lot. And uh, over here, you see the repeat rate and the intensity. The repeat rate acts as the delay time, and the intensity, of course, acts as the feedback control. So you can see where I've set it just about here. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, let's have a little more fun with this. So I'm going to increase the echo volume on this side, pull up the intensity a bit, and of course the repeat rate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a long tap delay. So simply by going, let's pull that down. Here we go. So you can see my tap control is working. And you can hear the combination of the tape heads sort of saturating and going into the, and uh, disappearing. It sounds very cool. And what I'll do is I'll show you the oscillation. When I hold down this switch, you can really get some awesome sounds. Right now, I'll start on a clean and then uh, eventually move up to some distortion. So let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Now with the space echo, Roland wants you to get lost in space with this pedal. So let's do just that. Let's get a trippy, spacey sound. Uh, I pulled up the intensity a bit, and uh, let's have some real fun with this. I'm going to 
uh, hit that oscillation thing, and then I'll also start moving the knobs, and you can really get some amazing sounds. So let's hear what that sounds like. The Roland RE20 Space Echo Twin Pedal is an incredible recreation of the original unit. I can guarantee you will have hours of fun with this pedal, and if you're looking for the ultimate analog Space Echo pedal, I can't think of a better pedal that can launch you into space. This is the one to beat. Check it out.